A new grand lobby at BNA is bustling tonight, but with it came a change with how airport screeners scan your carry-ons, and that's one that initially had some passengers kind of peeved. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rory Johnston. Carrie's back tomorrow. And News Channel 5's Jason Lamb talked with the TSA about this change and why some of you may need to buy a smaller suitcase. There's no doubt about it. A bigger airport can help support this city that's getting bigger every day. And today, bigger was the name of the game. Yeah, I think it's great. It's great for the city. The city's growing like crazy. The whole area is. And so you need a good functioning airport. But beyond the bigger lobby, there was another change that caused some confusion among travelers, involving not something bigger, but smaller. The carry-on baggage openings in the new scanners behind the new TSA checkpoint. The thing is, TSA says for years, a lot of people have quietly gotten away with getting through security and carrying on a bag that should have been checked instead. A bag that may have been larger than the airline carry-on dimension limits, without it being a big deal. But the baggage openings on TSA's new CT scanners using the same tech found in hospitals are smaller. But the TSA said today they are still large enough to accommodate any carry-on bag within airline carry-on dimensions. But if you've gotten away before with carrying on a bag that exceeded those limits, you may now have to check it if it doesn't fit. But some good news. TSA says individual items like car seats, strollers, crutches, and musical instruments can be hand-screened if they don't fit in the machines and then carried on. New points to remember the next time you're here. As the airport reaches new heights. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.